Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you. Amen. We thank you. Hallelujah. Well, uh, Kila, uh, pray for us today. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uh, Lord, I thank you for today. Thank you for this time that we get to spend together. Thank you that we get to come in town and join in community. I pray that you would bless this day and that you would bless the um, upcoming uh, meeting of the mm. Heart to be in one place. I thank you so much for um, letting the Chapmans join us, Lord. Mm. I uh, thank you for Rebecca and her life. I pray that you would bless her birthday mm. and that she would have a great day. Uh, thank you for our group and our people. Mm. And I pray that you would bless each understanding mm. and uh, get to know you more. Mm. Well, Justin, bring my happy birthday, Rebecca, if you guys are uh, in communication. Okay, so, yeah. Hallelujah. Where were we? We in cloud seven moments ago, so <laughs> not nine, so no surprise. surprised. <laughs> pretty grounded. So. Okay. Let's turn to Matthew twelve. Today I think hmm. last time we did it eleven, right? So talking about the one major discourse. This discourse is almost to me at least. Is a main body when Jesus Christ started to really disciple his people against all kind of contests that is not favorable to that purpose. And um, character like John the Baptist even challenged the validity of his ministry. Make sense he did not mention the Pharisees, Sadducees. And from uh, 13, we can see actually line part, 12 chapter. You can see the third party, interesting, that his own family mm-hmm. was not actually understanding what it's doing. That can become a little bit challenging to him, right? So that's where we want to start. Let's turn to this. Again, let me to highlight the so way I propose myself, at least, they may change as days go on. You know the Bible differently. But currently, I teach the Bible to highlight the contest. In order to know the contest, we sign some pointers, location, audience, purpose. Amen? Hallelujah. Understandably, how location to do with time, right? The word goes, why go. Jesus Christ's ministry was very purposeful. So when we showed our place, always some time related to, some related to faith, some related to where he traveled around. And that location most time is a marker where the teaching was mapped up where the audience was gathered. Then with a different location audience, there are also the reason why he shared things, right? So just like anybody, you know, I mean, you talk about your, with your sibling or different than you try to tell young people as a teacher to teach them something, right? Make sense too. So you listen to your parents sometimes. You also change. Sometimes you listen to your parents give instruction or things. Sometimes maybe not. Maybe you learn some subject or know something to do. Explain, for example, how you use the phone, right? So you give them instruction instead, right? So, but the tune changes once you do that, right? So your, your audience change, the flow of conversation change. So we need to be very, very understanding in terms of life interaction, especially our Lord. He carries himself not with a formula or format. He don't have a, like we, have a pew, <laughs> have, a, have a, a podium. <laughs> he don't set up and say, here, let's do church, do fellowship. His uh, relationship and his activity are very fluid. Mm-hmm. Amen. Gone by the Spirit orally, however, but we're fluid in terms of the situational setup. Amen. Hallelujah. So we need to learn to do that, to come to that contest, more than as a historian, but as a disciple. I would want to absorb and understand those contests like Peter would do. Mm-hmm. And then, hallelujah, am I? So, to see the list. And the Lord told us to be like him, am I? We actually would uh, eventually, from a Peter's point of view, change to see how the Son of Man carry himself, am I? Because you're going to be a minister of God's people, right? So you have to change 
in terms to change the understanding, the position, if we will. Hopefully all those are not false posturing or prideful thinking. Rather, a true student is supposed to do. Amen? A true student is supposed to do. Amen? That's the reason why this gospel is given. Not to make us scholars, but make us students in the living ways of God through his son. Amen? Right? Through the ones that he associated with. In this one, is the most dear people. I mean, there is no better close relation, closer relation in Jesus' life than his own family, his own mother. Mm -hmm. But let's look at Jesus, the way how he treated his mother, his family, in a worse, startling different way. Let me see, shocker, but you should know, absolutely different than the Catholic would do. So, huh? that's called your attention, huh? So why we don't agree with Catholics, uh, with Pastor and Mary, and there's a family in Jesus, the saints. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's a fundamentally idolatry. If Jesus don't do it, why we should do it? <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. So you see, that gives you a validity to use the scripture to disarm the confusion and the falsity of some religious indoctrination setups. How many people out there are Catholics? It is? So you must be separate yourself apart from those billions of followers. Of good reason, not for judgmental or condemning or be, you know, just make trouble for anybody, but to be a true disciple, not a fake disciple. Amen? Jesus said, do not follow mad traditions, rather than follow the living ways of God that exemplify his teachings. Amen? This will be very hard for the Catholic year. Mm -hmm. Amen. But for you, it should be chosen the bread. Amen. Hallelujah. Chosen bread. Now, then you, I have to give you some one application, then you will understand. Killa, what are you doing there? Okay. Do you hear what I try to say? Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's not be distracted, okay? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so um, those are important pottery. Hallelujah, hallelujah, to understand. This is a word sometimes very, very scandal fluid. I was talking to Elijah. He does not follow mass convention to impart knowledge to his He paid very attention to his audience. He cared about who is really hearing. He paid attention to how people respond to him. This is, is like the wise teacher in the world. He don't waste his time, don't waste his relationships. And we want to represent him to be suited. We must learn that. Amen? Hallelujah. Jesus did not allow his parents, his, his uh, sibling to follow him around. Why? Why, Kila? He did not allow them to follow him around. Because they treat him with another personality out there. Never show the due attention and respect. Some I'm familiar with. Some is my brother, my mother. Tomorrow I have another time with them. It's always ready for me. It's supposed to surround me all the whole of my life. That's in every decent student must be broken. Fundamentally wrong to design life, design those who teach you in such a contest. Unfortunately, that's the culture you brought up with. I'm going to shatter that. Wendy? No, I don't have the right to teach you. You don't have the right to claim to teach you. Pierre, yeah, real. Your parents don't have the right to have to raise you up, am I? Sounds crazy. That's a starting point. You learn to allow your parents to appreciate your parents, to honor your parents. Don't take things for granted too much. When you're overboard, you will see life very hard on you because it's not real. Amen, hallelujah. 
I'm not proposing an evil life, hard life, difficult life for you, but you need to learn to nurture a sensitivity, the basic assessment, the good things of life came from what? Some people, they give to you. To learn, preach is a giver of gifts. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen? To eat the meal, thank the cook. Amen? Hallelujah. The cook, able to cook, thank the one who gave you food. Therefore, you need to thank the cook and thank the one who gave you food. While you have the good food, thank the one who planned the food, supplied food, served the food for you. Amen? Hallelujah. That's how life should work. And oftentimes, we just our believers say it. I got the money, that's why I got the food. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But you want to be a son of God, the teacher of grace, God, what do you do? You need to rewire mm -hmm. those fundamentals. It's all about the perspectives. Now, that's where the false education blinds you away. Replace right away to do life with a false knowledge, false reasoning, false dictations and imagination what was supposed to be. Amen? Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. If any one of you is sitting here, you must treat me like a girl or treat me like a boy. Then don't come to this class. This class is not for me to, to have to adapt to your will for treating you like a boy or a girl. This is a, I treat you equally as my student. <clears throat> Amen? Or treat me like a, the a son of the moon, the son of La Casse, or a, a, what? <laughs> a daughter of uh, the Pinsons, or oh, a father of a uh, hey, young lady, Hannah. That's uh, true, he's your father. That's all understandably honored, appreciated. But the, the core theme, the core flow is here is for what? It's for learning together. And then we ups, upheld, honor those things. Now, on the other side, if you're going to be a teacher, there's one, tune up, tune up your ear. You're going to be the teacher. You're going to be instruct people. You're going to learn to have students in life. That's the first thing you need to identify and set it up in your class. Amen? Hallelujah. You see, why in... Is that the roles? No, the roles, the culture, the culture. flow of the culture. So why Mary and the brothers of Jesus was not able to be accommodated through his ministry? Sign on with his... Because it never embraces a role. The memory embrace that actually can be taught by him. Amen? Hallelujah. There are many reasons for that. We don't need to speculate. Some are very obvious, explicit. What I try to identify with you is what Jesus in the beginning is transition to build up his ministry. What is struggling with? Mm. You have to wrestle with all these things. Mm. Now, all these things I hope will apply to your individual life. That's why it will make you a special generation. Amen? You will become a special generation not because somebody taught you a new way. It will be because the cultural orientation will be different. If some students continue to say, three years later I'm going to do relations the same way I come in. You are filled as a true student in my, in my regard. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah. Three years, I want you to think like a disciple. Amen? Think like a teacher, like a teacher would do, like a Paul would do. You know, he do disciple. You know what I mean, that? That, that understandable? Am I? Am I? We have a lot to learn. I'm not saying you have to present the teacher, but at least the pottering. Amen? Understanding, be a teacher, has opened up before you. I'm not a student, so I can be a teacher someday. I want to learn to be a teacher of God's word. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. And with that, I must rewire the relationships in my midst when I'm a teacher of God's word. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. Am I? They must receive me not as a friend of my parents, <laughs> a buddy in that party. <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. We eat together, we laugh together, and, and therefore I know him. That's Jesus said. No, you don't know me. You never know me as a teacher of life. My teaching never changed your life. But what Jesus is saying, my word is the truth, and my word gives us life. 
What means life? What is life to you? <coughs> can be interpreted in many ways, am I? So, amen? Hallelujah. But for Jesus' life is a divine relationship that are being mapped up, flourished in God's design. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Never was individualistic a picture from beginning to end. It was a, a culture, a people. So in order to be a teacher of God's people, you must start with your inner circle. The people follow you around in a sense. Because they're going to follow you. What it means follow? To follow the culture you map out for them. Benji, am I? I'm, I'm demanding I'm going to be your teacher. Not you see me as your teacher for life. Before your parents. Before anyone in the world. That sounds crazy, am I? Before the present this nation, before the place map got, got caught up through your jail, <laughs> before your wife and children, you have any? <laughs> that's crazy thing about it, am I? But that's what Jesus required. That's what Jesus required. For that reason, he gave up his, uh, the, the natural comfort and natural constraint, if you will, even his natural family. We started there, he said, it's a very important transition. So one of the biggest lessons and biggest obstacles mm. in Christianity, even especially in your generation. Because the meaning of you grew up, when you just highlight, was the idea of how Christians are supposed to work. Christianity is supposed to work for you. Most are false, perverted, and very, very problematic. If you, I think, if I heard Ben recently ask, everybody ask, uh, priority for life, am I? What is priority life? Maybe I'll give you uh, some uh, encouragement to you to seek after the one leading the charge in the spiritual journey, amen, for the transition happening to each household. Ask your parents what inspired them to make the change. Because I believe everybody has profound understanding, determination to walk away from a certain kind of Christianity, am I? To be more themselves, be establishing God's culture in a new way, but to be the builders for you guys, have good foundation, good start, amen? For, for you to have a life, amen? Hallelujah. Therefore, naturally, they will not want you, the reason why they send you here is for them, amen, to have a you, to start just thinking about the spiritual relation differently. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. The culture differently. And culture is all about relationships. Amen? Hallelujah. Let me share something with you, okay? This is have a name, the title. The name of our own name, title of our title. Mm. Is, we define his a saver, redeemer, all kind of interpretations. That's our type. That's our thinking. Mm. See where Redeemer is all about us. Mm. <laughs> That's good, true. <laughs> but the, what is the name the title the Father see fate on him? Mm. As anointed one. The king and the priests. Mm. Amen? In my son, a priest called the son, a king called the son. Mm. But that sonship agreed to do with a mission, with the the authority, power, he's supposed to charge, responsibility given. Amen? Hallelujah. So, let me ask you this question. Have you received anybody in your life? More than desire your honor, but you must obey in the way to discharge the responsibility. Say that again. In the way to discharge uh, responsibility. Mm. Like a, a general. Mm. Treat you like a soldier. The responsibility, like a, like 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 a governor treated the citizenry, mm -hmm. on the which, like a company you have a boss, whatever, <laughs> they can tell you what to do, right? So are you? Sometimes you have big siblings. Sometimes the parents left the say, "Bends you in charge, make sure that household affair take care and your sibling, uh, take care of him, right? So mm -hmm. you have responsibility now, so." Amen. Hallelujah. Suddenly, you are instead in the name of whom? Of your parents. Called the delegated authority. Now, if your sibling is going to argue with you, you just know, feel it's out of place. 
if you don't know how to explain to them, say that, here, I'm not talking about merely as your big brother, I'm in the state of who? My parents, Let, let's not, let's get that straight, okay? This argument is how you want to carry it. If you carry a big brother, big brother, this is not the occasion, right? So I'm going to tell what? Tell your parents, don't respect me. The occasion gave to me to represent them. Mm. I did nothing wrong, but to willing to volunteer for that responsibility. And my sister, however, did not agree with that. Mm. Continue treating me merely as a big brother. So we got a misunderstanding here. I tried to do a good job for everybody, but my sister refused for me to do the job by disabling me, be a representation for you guys. Can you get that young mind through that I'm not here to bully or try to be a special brother? I'm just do the job you give me to do. That's our Lord. That's our Lord. Mm. That's our Lord. He's our big brother, but he's acting in the name and the authorization of whom? The Father. So we must differentiate when he is a big brother to us, the Savior, Redeemer, whatever, he sympathizes with us. At the same time, we need to, to understand he tried to start a new culture where people have to respect his name, his title, his function. The Father put him in place. Mm -hmm. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Esther is, is a word in life right now. Esther, is that making sense to you? Huh? You know, I'm your friend, friend of your parents. At the same time, I'm an elder or teacher of God's word, am I? You must treat me differently. I don't demand it, but the culture will naturally demand it, not me demand it. If your parents know the difference, want you to learn the difference, who are you? Refuse to be a good student and uh, rejoice to be, am I? Able to develop relationship, flourishing relation like that. If we don't understand those things, Aren't you going to be confused? I will be confused by you, by the way. <laughs> and then you will bring confusion to my relation with your parents, right? Natural result. So in the beginning, this better clear up mm -hmm. so that everybody will be unified. I have one agreement. We do the good thing. So we don't have to do the, try to figure out whether the whole relation works. We know how relation works. And we are doing it for the better result of it. Amen? That's very important for young people in this class mm. to understand the difference. I do relation differently. Amen? Hallelujah. It's, it's non-negotiable. That's a fundamental reason why you're here. <laughs> Your parents are trying to learn to do relation differently from me. Am I? That's, that's, that's the reality, am I? That's why we're here. So when you come around, continue on a continual basis, said, I don't know how to do relationships. You're not happy with the way how to do relationships. We got a problem, am I right? But you know, we got a problem. Who are you, young people, <laughs> to tell us how to do relations in this setting? Mm. You must learn it, at least to learn to work on it. The proposition is that, that the relation map up is wrong. It's not good. It's not work for me. We're good. Well, it will not work for you. We're good because you are in the wrong class. In your imagination, you must change the way how do your relationship. That's the end result. Now today we are coming to that place to examine why Jesus did what he did, how he did it. Mm. He didn't give any slack. <laughs> <laughs> he cut to the core. He get to the point. And he obviously used the dramas that God set up for him to highlight the fact that he do relation differently. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, if somebody is my disciple, this is our, I will differentiate him from a, a millions, a billions of others. I will differentiate him from my brother, my sister, my mother, my father. If it's a fight in the fear, say, this is how I do relation, I will tell my mother, my mother, my sister, say, hold on a minute. You obviously don't know what God's business here is about. Let me tell you about it. 
by the way, I command you, mm. I demand you to honor this relationship in the way I obey the God into it. Amen? You have no seed and whatsoever, amen, until you grace that this relationship was a given grace and will be blessed by God. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's like I'm building a house. There's a stone I put in. Don't move anymore. Amen? Hallelujah. Your old house is in room. Actually, I can tear it apart. Rebuild my spiritual relation house. Amen? This is my disciples. This is my real family. Amen? Natural family, natural friendship are secondary to me. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Is that understood? Yeah, that's how I do relationships this is our have been for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Now let's look at this. You know the story, 48 to one, the 50, uh, Jesus said, for 50, 50 verse 50, highlight that one, if you will, meditate again and again. What it mean for you? Mm -hmm. Young people, you will have future friendship, families, many good things will have to you. Many relations come to you, different tenures, different expression, different results. What verse did you say, Tyler? That's uh, 1250, 1250, yeah. So, but you must understand what it means to be a disciple of the Lord, especially when you want to disciple others, the culture of the Lord, this is where you start. Mm. If you can't start with this, don't teach people of God. Set your portion, live a godly life, be happy with it. But do not want her to teach God's culture. Amen? Hallelujah. Because you don't want to do it, obviously. Mm. Not ridiculous to criticize you. You just made your choice. Amen? Hallelujah. 50 said, For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother, sister, and mother. And that does the will of my Father in heaven is a very coded word. What that means? For every man live their life under the influence in the name of God who said, I'm doing the God's will, am I right? So, but this one is very peculiar. Let me give you a word, in-depth delineation, if you will. Would Jesus said, hey, James, hey, Mother Mary, you're not doing God's will? Obviously they were. Eh? They're not wicked people go to hell <laughs> or oppose God to a point that Jesus is no good <laughs> for them. They were in every light doing God's will in the way God assigned it. Unfortunately, this is a momentous clash, a culture clash. Mm. But Jesus obviously would not think that Mary is not doing God's will. Are you kidding me? No, James is going to have future salvation. James later going to become the leader for the church. So, in every way, we will not think that Jesus will talk about the, when not doing God's will is about to become wicked people or not obeying God in the way they're supposed to obey in the light or in the portion God assigned to them. Mm. So, my highlight to all that is to draw you in Jesus' understanding the definition of doing the will of the Father it's a very unique thing. Mm. Not related to our Christian definition, things about salvation, obedience to God, honor God, those are generalized understandings. Oh, I hear the Spirit, let the Spirit. Here is a coded word, a word contextualized statement, term. Doing the Father's will means to be a minister, God's word. It means to be what? Well, apostle. Amen? To go out for the Father's business. For what culture? What defines this ministry? It's the culture of God. Thine kingdom come on earth and it's in heaven. Thy will be done on earth in heaven. So come with the culture. Come mm. with the kingdom. Mm. Amen? Allah, do you understand that now? So do not drag this into the mud of man's understanding anymore. Mm. Amen? This is a very peculiar statement. A very peculiar targeting whom? Targeting is the same. Here is my family. Here is my true family. 
Who is my brother? Who are my mother? Upon the disciples, I hear my mother and my brother. We are doing a culture here. We are reforming new people here. The people is not, hey, at least, okay, this is nameless. The people means our culture. Who is the mother? Who is the father? There's a new people. Who have a people who no, have no relationship? Is that what kind of people is that? <laughs> Everybody's on the assembly line? No, it's organic people. The culture of people. Yeah. Amen. That's why it's so important in learning the kingdom of God to understand what it means to be a daughter, mm. what it means to be a son, what it means to be a father, what it means a mother. Mm. Because that's fundamental family relation in this setting. If you only want to learn, I want to understand the scripture in this context, that light, but not applying it to be a member of God's household, citizens of the kingdom, then often you will miss the mark. The Bible becomes an intellectual manual and a moral guideline for you. Rather than a spiritual setting, you can reproduce a, a heavenly culture Immerse yourself, plan yourself in the heavenly culture, and then what? Become a teacher of this heavenly culture. Is that not what it's about? Mm -hmm. yeah. How can you teach something if you know? Yes. You don't live it. You, you, don't, you don't know it. Now that's why it's so important to make some uh, serious reckoning of your own ways mm -hmm. in the days to come. Am I tired of all the Christianity that's maybe not conducive, even your opposition, right? Or cancel out this new culture. Is this a good culture ready for me? Do I think it's important for me? Do I think the people that run me able to actually minister? Or are they doing the ministering of it? Or it's like any Bible preacher, any teachers, this is home of the Bible. So I recommend you, you recommend that and decide what kind of students you want to be. Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. From this thing, I'm going to be examining you guys. My students must bear fruits. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. You must change your culture. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you, you can't do that, or your parents are doing that, we got the problem, right? Then you pray for us. To treat this, in a sense, clarity with uh, lightness. Mm. I will do it accordingly. You only see me say yes, and I see me say no. When I start seeing no, that's when we have trouble, am I? Kill out. When I start seeing no, you must go through the rod, go through the gig, then I'll wing you out a little bit. I can question to the core your belief. Not trying to make it hard on you, but you refuse to what? To be receive the gentle flow, the continued nudging. Continue to take the teaching in the level where you came from, mm -hmm. dragging the mud. This is a holy, right? This must be treated as special, you know, some peculiar, right? Make you a peculiar people, this stuff. Amen? Set you apart as God's holy people. What do you mean, set holy? My word sanctify you, made you holy. That's mm. what you said. If you don't believe, we can do that. Or you can do that. Through this kind of engagement teaching, you were able to do that. You are in the wrong class, right? Mm. Amen? Hallelujah. So you must treat it with all sincerity and devotion. And I command you, not merely take with my word value, put it before the Lord. Mm -hmm. Put it before the Lord thoroughly. Pray to God what this type means for you. What are those persons that God set up to have spiritual influence? Who are they for you? Don't blur away like a quote quote. I'm going to use a blunt word. Foolish Christians do. People said, ah. Paul said, Oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you? 
who have given you, look like something under an inference. Have you get a drunk, get medicine to a place you lost your mm. You don't know what you think, don't know what you're doing, you know, talk what you talk. That would be which may be cursed, basically, be witch, be cursed, you know. Have an inference. Amen? Hallelujah. Intoxicated by some drugs or something like that. Medicine, whatever. So you don't dance straight. It's like blurry. I mean, like a zombie. <laughs> Sorry. So you, you have the prayer. I want to clear that up. <clears throat> what I'm trying to clear up is a house cleaning for religious inferences over your mind. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Lord, come to a desire to depart from the familiar way, Lord, mm -hmm. and from a religious way, Lord. Mm -hmm. Would you help us to, Lord, truly take hold of, Lord, these, these words, Lord, mm -hmm. for they are one of the most important things mm -hmm. of our lives, Lord to know the things of you, Father. Mm. So I pray that we would continue to, Lord, invest in the things that, that don't fade, Lord. Because mm -hmm. that's what this life is truly about, Lord, about mm. you. Mm. Lord, I pray against the things that continue to press upon our hearts and try to, mm -hmm. Lord, shape us into something that it is not from you, Lord. Mm -hmm. But instead, may we continually and actively seek your way, Lord, and those things will eventually have to fall away. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, I thank you for people like Emmanuel in our lives Lord, mm. that are in many ways a forge for us, Lord. I pray that you continue to bless this time, Lord. And help us to know your mm. culture, Lord. Mm. Amen. Let's move on then. So, now 12th chapter, let's start actually with the little contest for the last time. We're talking about location. Mm -hmm. We see the whole drama not divided by chapter 12 or 13. Let me just review a little bit. Then different group people go through this one day. I mean, one day, different characters begin to show up. There's a lot of things going on in one day, in this day. It's amazing, you know, one day. Uh, and Matthew re records this one day, how many things happened, how many people Jesus had to address. And he continued to change his tune and his re-engagement with each group of them. It's amazing, you know. If you look at living Jesus yourself, what? If I appear there, what? He, he talked to people this way. He talked to the next one this way, you know? And people come from different outside, different ground, try to interact with him in their own settings, eh? They all have some uh, own personal expectation, you know? Try to receive him 
or relate to him in their own life. And Jesus had to continue to battle through that. Now that's landed eventually. The climax of that, if you will, is his own disciples. So in that light, I want you to see this day, the Lord is full of the Holy Spirit. The time he said it, it feel like a flint, am I? It's like, okay. <laughs> no. I don't care anybody. I'm going to cut through, you know. The times that he was so full of intensity, the spirit was so upon him. It's like in another world. He literally is in another world. And refused to get down to the ground level where people most time came from. You understand that, Kila? It's anointed by the spirit. Some higher personality power take over you. The anointing is so upon you. That you instantly know people where they came from. You know where they're going. <laughs> you know their end. Just like you know their beginning. Amen? Hallelujah, hallelujah. So easy like your natural eye can see. That's a girl, that's a boy. That's a Caucasian young lady. <laughs> Me grew up in Africa. <laughs> America, I'm sorry, not this. <laughs> you know? Making sense to you? That's a Chinese guy, obviously. Have accent, he's from China, man. <laughs> and I'll get over the barrier of language, yeah. You know? You instantly know those things. You intuitively know those things. Amen? Hallelujah. You intuitively really know where the culture they stuck in. And he had to do everything more than not conform sometimes to contrast, right? To, to conflict. Some to say, let me impart because you're willing to hear, you're willing to serve and impart. So in this like a river, and then, have you seen the fluent river, mighty river? It doesn't stop by anybody. Amen? Hallelujah. It goes to the low places. And with the high places, it's going to boom, drag you down. I mean, the cars, the, the, the stone sometimes being carried, the bridges carried out, right? On the river. The mighty flood. So sometimes Jesus is a gentle Jesus. There's other times Jesus is not a gentle Jesus. It's a mighty force in Asia. And that this day, people continue to stir him up. You know? <laughs> Amen? Hallelujah. Stir it up. Don't poke the line, man. <laughs> Make it sense here? <laughs> you poke a lamb, lamb going to just, you know, maybe bury head. <laughs> I to walk away. <laughs> Don't poke a line. <laughs> Jesus was in the spirit of life, if you will. Let's look at this. In 12th chapter, I want you to learn vividly, beneficially, to learn the real Jesus. Amen? 12th chapter, you see, beware, this is withdrawal from the place, and many follow him. We see that's where it started. Then people bring demon possessed people to him, start a council with the Pharisees, 22 chapter from there. So then continue, he began to tell people in general public said the silent Jonah, talking about those things. But he landed on this very interesting pronouncement to the generation of them people, even in front of him. Amen? Many who follow him and treat it with uh, great amazement, right? As a servant of God. So let's see that. It said in chapter 12, we're going to light apart 40, 45, where it said, It goes, told the demon, take with the seven other spirits who weaken themselves, they go in and live there. The house here is more than a personal house, am I? Personal spiritual house. It of the whole culture of the Jewish people that day. The final condition of that man is worse than the first, that is, how will be with this wicked people, generation people is the same word in Greek and Hebrew, okay? With this people. Now, I'm not quicking for your mind, little sharp, but what about today? What about today? Amen? I like that. Which cap you from? Which cap you long to go into? That's a personal reckoning, personal question. It always has to be a personal answer. Amen? Hallelujah. So we see the mother continue and brother still in the twin lines only, right? Oh, it's, mm. it's not happening. It's okay. Actually, we don't think it's happening at all. 
we should stop them. Jesus is being trouble himself. He's harming, harming himself. Oh, poor son. Oh, poor brother. He lost his head. <laughs> Mark says something. He was mad. The parents thought he was insane. <laughs> Tried to argue a case to bring him back. He was insane indeed. <laughs> In the wheel of back. <laughs> All right? They try to kill him, man. He don't care. <laughs> He's 13. Let's see the chains of... In the beginning, I want to give the mark to read the Bible. It's interesting. When I learn this method, the whole Bible actually more easier for me to understand. Mm. So, I begin... Chapter 13? Chapter 13 okay. in the beginning, yeah. That same day... That same day! What day? Same day. Same day! After he dismissed the Pharisees, <laughs> he dismisses the parents, I mean, not, not his family, who came a long way to start him out. Mm. He didn't tell them where to eat, where to stay, nothing. <laughs> That's crazy, huh? That's definitely unchristian like. <laughs> Very unloving. Yeah. <laughs> Joking. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. <laughs> I think the mother, if I were married, I'd be upset with him. Sure. I have a right to be upset with him. Mm. Mm. Mm, be prepared for those days. <laughs> Somebody love you and care profoundly might be upset with you because you can't do things according to what they think is right. Mm. That they will have a hard time to come across their mind that actually some higher power, higher purpose gazing greatly your life, you have no choice. But do the thing God called you to do. Do you want to be used by God like that? You must have it. That's crazy, huh? Yep. So then starts, he said about late talk, a large crowd gathered. That's when he get in the boat. You know, I think somebody talked about this, a boat is a low place, all right? Mm. And people are sitting on the slope of the lakeside. Mm. So rather, he has a hard place, he, Stay in the lower place, you know? Hmm. It's like an automatic uh, anim an amphitheater, you know? That's oh, yeah. how you, mm -hmm. everybody can hear you well. Mm. So interesting. interesting. So stand on the shore. So he began to share them with the power. The first power was the power with the seed. You know, is that making sense? Power with the seed. This is a major parable in the yeah. uh, teaching of the kingdom of God, the spiritual life in the kingdom of God. And you know that, I don't want to read everything to you, but I do want to come back again, the conversation changed audience again. In 10, many heard that parable, but the only few came to him for understanding. 10, the disciples, who is that? The disciples. Now as a teacher, sometime I will tell you, as the minister of the Lord, I tell you, many, well, think they take away being taught, but few come back to you to ask the real question. Mm. And it's a, such a delight and encouragement to hear somebody ask the deeper question, the real question. Mm -hmm. As a young student, I mean, I heard my story, I'm bragging in my own life. I always ask a deeper question because that I have a very unique relation with my teacher all the time. Amen? Hallelujah. Extreme relationship is, uh, is, is brought about by that. Mm. Now I'm talking about the, the worldly wisdom in a sense. Certainly it would be so. Now I'll be a teacher, I understand that very well now. If I'm a good teacher, I'm passing the teacher, really care about what I taught being received or not. My God. I will be happy about that, right? So. You know, I was a little bit outstanding in that. That's why I have a special relations with my teachers, because no other student do it. <laughs> One year after another year, another year, nobody do it. <laughs> and I do it all the time, with every teacher almost. Mm. Maybe that. So at least there's a culture that I carry around me that was known by all teachers. So when they have some serious mentors in the middle of the students, who they turn to? They ask you to be the representation because they know you understand 
how to carry the true intent. Mm. You know, so it's that interesting. Mm. Now I'm not talking about the natural favor. I'm talking about how you enter into God's favor, mm -hmm. become a, a good student. Because no good teacher is not a good student. Right. The one is the same. No good student is not a good teacher. Mm. It's impossible to impart, interpret. Mm -hmm. But the Western mind, in many minds, that seems a two different territory, right? So. That's why it's natural that the yes. best student eventually becomes. Yes, yes. 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 There are somebody who said there's no no, no, uh, there's no good soldier who don't want to be a general. Because mm, they have that yes. perspective. Yeah, don't just chill. <laughs> Is that right? You know what I mean? You have to be able to teach, you know? So, you, why you want to get married? You have to be, want to be a mother, maybe. Not marry for romantic love, for some good boys, good girls to get married. That's okay. Start from there. Mm -hmm. But the better think about life longer term, right? You can be a grandma. Amen? <laughs> you came from somewhere, so that's not alien language to you. <laughs> so think about am I a grandma? What kind of grandma can to be? Because that's where you're heading, man. <laughs> you're lucky enough. <laughs> Maybe you're heading that way. So that's what a seating is all. Scary thought. Yeah? What a seating is all. Yeah? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> that what I mean to be a good general, okay? <laughs> I'm teasing you around, you know? Those are common language in ancient cultures. I'm just like everybody doing it, except modern Christians. Mm. <laughs> except modern Christians have no roots, no long term reason. No culture consideration about doing relationships. It's strange to me. Yet they want to change the society, man. <laughs> they want to tell the world to do. It's incredible to me. You, can you pray for us, brother? Mm -hmm. We must reconcile this fact mm -hmm. and rectify the mistake. Amen? Hallelujah. This pride, this ignorance. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, we. Thank you for revealing, Lord, for bringing forth the ancient wisdom. Lord, truth that has existed before time, Lord, that you have put into place. Lord, may we receive it and treasure it as the, as pre as the preciousness that it is. Mm. Lord, may we embrace it and, and, and chase after it. Mm. Lord, want to know it, want to, to do it. Lord, it is not um, beneficial to us to simply know something without acting in it. Mm. A good student is not one who listens only and does nothing. Mm. A good student re is required to, to do the work. A good mm. student is one who cares about what the teacher has to say. So, Lord, may we receive your word, your living and active word, mm. or that word that indeed pierces, pierces our heart, or divides the inner places within us. Lord, let us receive it. Let us embrace it and, and learn to walk in it. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to practically walk these things out. It is upside down, Benji. Mm -hmm. It's indeed upside down. Whether we like it or not, the nature is upside down. Now you understand why it's upside down. Your vision has a true application mm -hmm. just in front of you. Think about it. Upside down. <laughs> but it's good for us or yeah. bad for us? That's good for us. the personal question. Personal. Depends on how you receive yes. it. Yes. Yes. If it's not good for you, why should I come to upset your life? <laughs> oh. Yeah. This is upset everybody's life. First is the mother's, right? <laughs> Do he apologize for that? Do you think it's a curse? His mother would think so. <laughs> mm. In the beginning, but Jesus knows that he is blessing for everybody and for things to change for God's will 
to be a blessing, many God's purpose unfold mm. for His chosen people. He must do it. He started with uh, his own relationships. Now I'm not telling you to be not good brother, rather be a the right kind of brother. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Not be a good sister, eh? good daughter. Who knows what I'm going to be in the days to come. I'm teasing you. <laughs> but be good one. Be the one God wants you to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Sorry. So Lord, um, I pray for these young people and myself. Mm-hmm. Lord, that we that you would open our minds and our hearts to receive this ancient wisdom, this ancient way. Lord, we confess that it is indeed upside down. It's backwards from what we see around us. And Lord, I, I believe that it would take it will take great courage to walk in this upside down way. So Lord, give us your grace. Lord, I, I know that you will grant the grace to those who, who truly want it, who truly seek it out. Lord, so may we all be counted as good students. Mm. Lord, as good sons in your house. Lord, pleasing to the Father. Lord, we, we, we recognize and declare in our own hearts and minds that it is good, it is the best way. So, Lord, fruit it out, and, and may that fruit mm. be shown in our lives. Mm. Lord, through our relationships, mm. through the results and the, of our, our families and the way that we interact with one another. Mm. Lord, bless your people in this, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, you believe that? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. I believe the disciple, when he heard this message, the walk away and said, That's tough. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good happy message. <laughs> not really. No. Not really. <laughs> Make the world sober, huh? Mm-hmm. Do you feel a little bit sober? That's good, Hannah. That's very good. Eh? <laughs> That's what it's supposed to be. Amen. Rejoice. Amen. It's supposed to be.